Hey, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Z970R video. We did a nice video in the spring and it did very well. So I just wanted to update you guys with how this thing is performing. Uh, we are almost at, I believe, 190 hours. I can check here. We are at 183 hours. This is a 2021 John Deere Z970R. It's got a 37 horsepower gas engine. We have two modifications on it. One is the chute blocker on the right-hand side, and then the second is the Z-Glide wheels for the front and suspension. So we've had a unique set of circumstances uh, with the weather here in the past couple months. So we actually hadn't mowed the property for at least a month before shooting this video. Uh, the grass is eight inches, 12 inches in some places. so. It's a really, really good way to showcase how powerful the zero turn is because you can see all the grass getting blown and the tall grass getting cut down as opposed to just, you know, doing a, trying to shoot a video showing you how powerful this thing is and just mowing this grass, it's, it would be tough. So we used two mowers. Since the grass was so long, uh, we used this to, to cut down the bulk of it. And then we used my dad's Z970R. He's got a mulch on demand deck. Uh, since the grass clippings are so long, we uh, mowed it with this first and then we ran over it with the mulch on demand deck just so there wasn't clumps throughout the whole yard. But uh, we had had it mowed, like I said, for a month. And that was because for the first two weeks of that month, it probably like the first, I don't know, in the past six weeks, it's only rained two of those weeks. And um, two weeks ago, this grass was completely dead. It was looked like a desert out here. And then the last two weeks, it's been raining nonstop. So the grass came back to life, but it was too uh, wet to mow. So it grew really quick and uh, here we are. We were able to mow it and showcase the Z970Rs. The first thing I wanna talk about is the Z970Rs speed. More than anything, I value getting this property mowed quickly. And we have about seven acres. We mow probably four to five acres every week and we can do that in an hour and 52 minutes, I believe was the quickest I was able to do it. You'll see in the drone footage that we take later how, how we, uh, our property looks and how big it is and the obstacles. But uh, I think uh, for me, I value my time more than I value the cut quality. So where as some other mowers might do a little bit of a better job mowing, this thing is fast and that's why we went with this. Here's a video of its speed. The next thing I'll touch on real quick is the Z970R's power. It uh, comes with a Kawasaki 35 horsepower gasoline engine. And you'll notice that this thing throws the grass far when it's mowing. 
the blade speed is absolutely phenomenal and sometimes i don't have these things the sharpest and it still does a phenomenal job cutting because the thing is spinning so quick uh you can also fly you know like i was saying earlier with the speed this engine allows you to mow fast and the blades are still spinning very quickly Like I told you guys before, my biggest thing is I want to mow quick and I want to get the job done fast. So I went with a 72 inch deck. One of the benefits of going with this deck is you can trim very easily. You can get close to the trees and not have to worry about running into it with your zero turn. And you can put this mower deck essentially right up against your mulch beds or whatever, and you still have room. You don't got to worry about running into stuff with your tires. Even though we want to get things done quick, we still stripe. And this zero turn has no attachments for a stripe kit. And you'll see in the drone footage, but you can also see in this footage, it does a phenomenal job. I don't know what deer does, but there is no striping kit on this thing. And it does a great job of striping. One of my absolute favorites is this comfort glide seat this thing will move up and back and up and down you just have to dial in your weight and that'll determine how much resistance is on the seat but it's very comfortable and when you combine that with the z glide front suspension and the wheels this is a very very comfortable machine now i do believe there are some zero turns that have a better suspension this isn't the ford raptor of trucks when it comes to suspensions this might be like more the ram rebel so take that into consideration. If you're thinking about getting a John Deere or a zero turn without that, that is one thing that I would say is an absolute must having that air ride or comfort glide seat. A lot of stuff I see on the forums uh, in regards to the wheels. Some people are concerned that it doesn't have as much traction as an air tire or a regular tire. I haven't seen that. I've had no issues with this. The traction is great even in wet ground and it holds its hills and you can turn up uh, on hills very easily with this. And I'll show you some footage of that now.
Now, like I said earlier, we have the shoot blocker and my dad has the mulch on demand deck. He's got the 60 inch deck though. I don't believe at the time of this video, I don't believe John Deere has a 72 inch deck with the mulch on demand, but huge benefits to getting that mulch on demand deck. It does, your grass is not going to clump up as much, or I, I should say when it does clump up, you have the ability to uh, activate that mulch on demand and it chops up those grass clippings. Now, uh, depending on how tall the grass is, it's going to slow you down a little bit, but it definitely helps out with uh, mulching those grass clippings. Another absolute must. If you don't have the mulch on demand deck, you've got to get a shoot blocker, in my opinion. This thing is a lifesaver. If you're coming up and uh, you have a car to your right, or let's say you have a patio, or you have a driveway or a mulch bed, you can close the shoot blocker and it will prevent the grass clippings from blowing, you know, 20 feet off to your right. And then as soon as you're done with that, you can open it up. Now, this thing is not, again, a mulcher. It's not perfect. You'll see in the footage, you know, some of the grass will fly out of here. You know what I mean? It'll clump up on the right side. So that's not something you want to be mowing with closed the whole time. You only want to do that in bits and pieces when you're coming up against an obstacle that you don't want to blow grass into. All right, we got the mowing done. Now we're over at the shop. I have to move some cement block with this tractor with the grapple on. Once we're done with that, I'm gonna talk about what we're planning on doing with this shop here in this winter.
got everything back in the shop now for the night. That's gonna be it. We're working outside today. Just gonna give you a quick shop tour. I'm sure you've seen it in some of the videos, but I don't know that we've done an actual tour of the thing. I believe it's 1,500 square feet total. I can get on Google Maps and measure it, but we essentially have two garage doors, one long bay that has a garage door, one long bay that doesn't have a garage door, and then this is a short bay here. So this is nice for the zero turn. And then we have a finished area slash office space on the east side. And this is nice for the dogs. But the goal this winter is to completely finish the shop portion of this building, which is out here. So our thought process is we're gonna do matching walls the whole way across. We'll probably do a skirt, metal skirt along the bottom and white pine across the top portions of the wall and then a metal ceiling. We'll do insulation with uh, the plan of getting heating and air conditioning in here. And then we'll also do electrical. That's the long-term goals. I don't know if we'll get it all done at once, but the goal is to start chipping away at it late this fall in early winter so the first steps is going to be getting all this stuff out of here and under the lean-to in the back the shelving's got to come down that shelving's got to come down all this stuff here and start chipping away at that so we can get ready to to work on this when it gets cold and when it gets dark early that'll give us projects to do in the winter so that's going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the footage and the content and if we're lucky, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.